you did. All right, so anything to like set the song, anything you know your mom before we start? Nah, I'm good. Now you want to get off? Nah. Mad at your nigga? Nah. Uh-uh. All right. Uh -uh. I ain't uh -uh. Right. Not today. <laughs> Uh -uh. Not today, hey, 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 don't come here starting stuff. No, you did. My, my bad. <laughs> Not today. Because he already know he got to, sometimes got to be like. We better be in three states today. Because like, I'll be going through like five different moves <laughs> yeah. today. For real. Yeah, like, because it, it'd be yeah. so much like go going on. Bad. So it just kind of be like, yo, man, just oh, be like man. everywhere. And it just be like, I get irritated. <laughs> and, you know, like we girls, we emotional. Yeah. Shit. Periods, all type of shit. Uh-uh. Bro, I hear people be saying that though. Like, I don't feel like I'm emotional. I feel like I'm that nigga though. Like, okay. But I do. Be like, I'm not gonna judge these guys. It's like, but you don't just like still just move swing. Like, we'll be like, all right, bitchy, and you yeah. know, yeah. have our days, attitude, whatever. I don't care. All right, then. So, what's the deal? It's the real, and you're watching What's Your Perspective, an open ended podcast that welcomes all perspectives. So today I am here with the multi talented rapper and content creator, Lil Jada. Period. Big Jada, not the Lil Wayne. Okay. Period. <laughs> so, how you feeling today? I'm good. I'm good. You know, this little, uh, what's this? KKB? Um, no, KB. Me need this shit kicking my ass. What is it? <laughs> it's some liquor, some tequila. It's oh, lemonade. Good. It's called Kick Ass. So, yeah. Yep. yeah. This shit kicking my ass. <laughs> Shout out to them. <laughs> Period. Look, so no, I'm really excited for this interview just to get your just to get your perspective on like the rap industry and just Chicago in general. But you global at this point. So where well, else are I'm, you? Look, I'm almost there. Uh, I'm almost there. Uh. Like where where else do you like so actually how do you go about that? Like do you just live in these different places and like or you just kinda like travel? Well, both. Pretty much, like, yeah, I just moved to Virginia, but, mm. like, I go to New York. We got some plans to go to Memphis and, mm. you know, Atlanta and shit like that. I'll be, yeah, I'll be on the go, but, yeah, I just moved to North Carolina. What, shit, I'm talking about North, well, it's both, shit. They, yeah. It's borderline, North Carolina, Virginia. Mm. And, shit, we be in both, like, shit, I be in the studio in Raleigh and like greens barrel and shit like that so yeah i keep just moving around pretty much no that's what's up you feel like that's important for like young artists to like create foundations everywhere definitely because i feel like when you move around you get to like touch uh, like people get to feel your energy like you know people can see you on the internet and they can just assume you know what type of person you is but when they get to like bad with you that's why i like to get in the studio with people because it's like we could bad make a song instead of like somebody we just I send an open because it's like you don't even know if you really fuck with this person for real. People be so focused on the business aspect, but I be trying to see like shit. You a good person? Like what type of person mm -hmm. is you? Like I'm trying to like like longevity. Motherfuckers get into it after they record a song, and I, you know, just I feel like it's important for you to like expand and do other stuff. So yeah. No, that's what's up. I really have not heard. That. I feel like everybody just send a send a little piece and and go. Yeah, see, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, so do you punch in, or it's just like you want to punch um, it? It depends, because, like, if the song's, like, real fast, I kind of just be like, yeah, let me punch that in. Like, uh, you know, I get to stumble on my words and shit. But yeah. other than that, now, pretty much, like, I just kind of be like, all right, I'm going to do these two, do these two. Uh, how they go, like, just to make it flow smoothly. Mm -hmm. I don't want to try to force it and rush it in and it just be all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel that. I feel that. But the, the first video you ever dropped got a thousand plus views in a day and that was exactly only, yeah and that shit was only three years ago so like what made you even start rapping so like one day i was just like on some board shit i was sitting in the crib and then i'm like damn i'm like i just started playing some beats on youtube i just started rapping i just started like writing it down like literally writing it down on paper and then when i started rapping it to like everybody in the hood and mm -hmm. shit Everybody like, damn, you low key got got some shit. I'm for real. Okay. I like shit. I ain't even know for real. So then they like, no, nah, you can do that shit. So I kind of started taking it serious, but not for real. Like I still was kind of like, yeah, what up? Like hesitant, like you know. Yeah. But that's what like made me start rapping. Like, a lot of people start believing in me and shit. So I'm like, fuck it, let's go. Yeah. So if, if so, nobody ever told you like you was good, you think you would have kept going or no? That would have yeah, been no. the end of the day. It, 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 it probably would have been the end because it's like 
people made me actually be able to believe in myself. Like, I didn't even know I had the talent. Like, I kind of like, like, when I was young, I used to be trying to play around with it. But it was like, eh. You know, back then it was like, shoot, it wasn't the internet. So it was like, yeah. You know, like, motherfuckers would be like, damn, how, how they gonna see me? Like, because it wasn't really the internet for real. I think I was probably like in sixth grade, some shit. Like, yeah, so you've been on that. You've been on that. Okay. Yeah, but not for real, for real. So, but once everybody started believing in me, I was like, fuck it, let's go. Yeah, no, that's turn. So, so since you did touch a thousand views in a day, how easy do you think it is to go viral? I mean, I ain't gonna say it's easy to go viral because I feel like if I was more consistent, my stuff would have just kept rising and rising. But I feel like after I did a thousand views in the day off my first video I dropped, like, like I wasn't consistent. I wasn't posting. I feel like mm. consistency play a big part. Like, like so my stuff kind of was just like it was just like. You know, like, it wasn't really going nowhere. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. now, like, I'm growing consistently because I'm steady working and steady growing and, yeah. you know, shit like that. But other than that, like, you you definitely got to be consistent. I feel like I could have been way further if I would have. But, you know, you live, you learn. Yeah. No, that's not, though. But, I mean, everything happened for a reason. Exactly. I feel like maybe it just wasn't my time, you know, mm -hmm. like, everything. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, for sure. But, okay, look, so before we get into, like, too far into the questions, um, what was your, let's start with your foundation. Like, how has, like, where are you from? Where How has Chicago, like, you know, damn, I kind of answered my question. Where are you from? <laughs> well, I'm from the South Suburbs, yeah, from uh, Chicago and shit. But, like, I don't live in the city, too, so I don't live in both, like, mm -hmm. so... And, like, Chicago kind of, like, me living in Chicago for the three years that I did, it kind of made me the person I am today because of, like, the stuff I've been through when I was living in Chicago. And I was, like, I never really, like, you know, I used to always go to the city, but I never really kind of, like, like, stayed there. like felt it till I lived there. Like, man, Chicago ain't even that bad. But then once I started living there, I'm like, man, this shit is... Shit, like, yeah, so I'm, yeah, I'm from the south suburb, though, but like I said, I'm a mixture of both. Period. <laughs> where, uh, where did you live when you stayed in Chicago? Um, I stayed on 84th and Troop, yes. so south side of Chicago. Oh, okay. Well, you was stay on the south side, bro. I ain't gonna lie, so I take the red line because I stay up north. Uh -huh. So, like, I'm not like a lot. I was in the train the other day. Like, as you go all the way down the red line, that shit get worse and worse and worse and worse. No funny shit. I see. I ain't gonna lie. I've been been out here my whole life, and I ain't getting on no red line. I ain't getting on no train. I ain't getting on no bus. I'm sorry. I can't. Like, ain't uh uh. Ain't no way you gonna put me on. I don't used to, like it used to be people like, girl, you could take the bus. I'm hell no. I'm taking Uber. I'm not getting on no fucking train. No, I'm telling you, like no, cause it, it be too much going on. I ain't got time for that shit. No, I'm good. My life is so valuable to me. I'm cool. Uh uh. Niggas be weird too. <laughs> That's silly as hell. That's silly as hell. <laughs> hell no. Uh uh. Get somebody else to do it. <laughs> how, uh, how do you feel like uh, Chicago has influenced your music? Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Um. I feel like Chicago influenced like my music, like on some like it still give us like our own like style. Mm -hmm. type shit like so it's like me like I said me living in Chicago for them couple of years like it did kind of help me like it's still like a little bit of hood I guess you would say mm -hmm. but like I am still suburban like mm -hmm. shit but like it's suburban. like that's, yeah yeah so it's like a mixture I don't want to be too much of this or too much of that like it's like just like a balance you know yeah. so I feel like that's kind of how it helped me a little bit though like give it that little edge mm -hmm. for sure so, what's your dream feature, like, from Chicago, if you got one? Uh, Herb. Yeah. I want to work for Herb, because it's wrong with him. No, for real. Every time I hear his music, he me. Exactly. He be snapping, I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah. But female rap music is taking over right now, as we all know. And I feel like it's about time, like, on some shit. So. Exactly. Yeah. Because niggas' music been ass. I'm not even going to lie, I swear to God. And that people are supporting too, like. That shit is For real. Crazy. They be, the damn niggas be mad. They be on the internet like, 
the female way is gonna be over with. What y'all mad cause y'all music ain't for shit? That ain't not fault. Like shit, damn. No, it's a lot of women that's been <laughs> rapping way better than niggas. Play. Exactly, a long time coming, and they want to talk about we talk about the same stuff. Like they don't steal people lyrics. Talk about they got fifty drums and they ain't even got that. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go actually about that too. I'm gonna actually about that too. But as far as like female rap, what do you feel like differentiates you from other female artists in the game? Well, for one, I'm versatile. Like I'm gonna be like I'm gonna do whatever. Like whatever I feel like, I do pop. All in like R and B, like I'm just as a whole, I'm gonna like I'm gonna do whatever like I feel like is right, and I'm gonna. I don't, everybody else want to do drill and shit like that. Like I ain't, you know, like I just want to be in my own lane, pave my own way. Like so, that's what I feel like make me different, and my voice different. Like a lot of people don't sound like me too, so. Yeah. Like, a lot of people kind of, like, they don't want to sound like somebody that's already out, Sexy Red or whoever. You know, they want to sound like the next person. Like, if you make your own sound, then it kind of make you stand out from the next person. Yeah. So, it's like, that's that's all I'm doing. I'm pretty much just, I even do country music. Like, I, I'm a whatever. Like, at the end of the day, like, music is music. Yeah. Like, people be big on, oh, it's lyrics. No, nah, make some music. Like, we're trying to have some songs, stuff you could dance to, bad to, like. Ain't trying to do all that bop for bop like we fucking battle rappers and shit. Like, yeah. you know, like, yeah, if you got some bars, that just add to it. But, mm-hmm. you know. No, I appreciate that. I commend <laughs> you on that for sure because there's a lot of people that are just trying to mimic us. Uh-huh. Yeah, I like that. So, since we were talking about, like, female, like, stigmas and everybody's talking about the same thing, how do you feel about the stigma surrounding, like, female sexuality and rap? Like, women only talking about pussy or coochie, um, like... I really do feel like men do the same thing. Y'all talk about coochie too. I I have one though, so why don't you talk about what I got? Like I don't understand that. Like, well, I just feel like at the end of the day, everybody pretty much talk about the same shit. It's like it's only so much. It's just about how you deliver it mm-hmm. and how you put it out there. Like a lot of people talk about the same shit. Shit, I talk about my pussy too. But shit, at the end of the day, I still make other music too. I make motivational, pain, love, like have a you know like. I I'm human, so it's like we all talk about other shit besides just pussy. Like, yeah. niggas, they talk, I'm sure they talk about other shit besides just guns, but it's like at the end of the day, it's, it's only so much you can talk about, just how you put it together in the song. So, yeah, for sure. so what's your response to people saying that women only oh. rap about their coochie? I feel like they go suck a dick <laughs> because they ass capping. I don't believe it. And like, just they, they, what they be talking about, guns? Like, that's shit. it. Then I mean, yeah, we do talk about our pussy, but shit, we got one, don't we? <laughs> okay, like, look, talk about your experience. That's that's my experience. Exactly, but you know they always gotta bring that up. Like, bitch, I don't talk about this. That's cause they just hate. Like, they talk mean. better, literally, <laughs> literally, <laughs> dog. Like, but but look, so back to Chicago. Um, so you really, you come from a beef city, like even like the Chicago land, like area, you come mm-hmm. from a beef city and there's plenty of women that are beefing that don't make me, I'm not going to say nobody's name, but yeah. it's, yeah, I'm, I'm sure like we all know, it's not like nothing crazy, but <laughs> yeah, like it's really real beef, like pew pew, like y'all, I, I didn't know until I came out here, I'm like, damn, women really be gangbanging out here like this, yeah, they do, like but... that's, that's crazy to me. But, like, as far as features, I feel like you have worked with a lot of women. Like, a lot of yeah, women. But that's I, like, even before it was a wave to work with female artists, yeah. I've been working with female artists because I, I'm the type of person, like, at the end of the day, if your candle lit, my candle lit, you can't dim my candle, you know, like, type shit. So, it's like, at the end of the day, like, come on, let's turn this bitch up together. Like, I ain't the type of person that just be on some, oh, she gonna outshine me. Like, nah, hell no. Nah. If you, you make it bigger than me, cool. Like, mm-hmm. You know, like, it's whatever. Like, I just be trying to work with female artists as a whole. Like, I don't do that beef and stuff. You went to it with somebody, ain't got shit to do with me. Like, I'm just trying to work, handle my business. I'm staying out of drama, staying out. I'm cool. Yeah, no, that's that's amazing. Though. Like, you done did work with, with Bally Baby, Shelly Vance, Only One Bria. Like, I, I love that. But how, so how are you collaborating with all these female artists in your city without beef? Like, you are a cool person. Though. Like, you, you cool as fuck, I'm not going to lie. So, you think that's just it, like, since you're a good person, like, it just... I mean, I feel like some people gonna be like, well, she fuck with this person, I don't fuck with her. I mean, that's cool. If you wanna take it, you wanna be, you know, then hey, whatever, like, that ain't, that's you picking a beef with me. 
Mm -hmm. Like, so it's like at the end of the day, then I don't fuck with you. If you don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you. I just keep that same energy. Like, no, you want to act cool? Shit, fuck on then. Yeah. I don't care. I ain't got time for that messy ass shit. Like, if we working, we working. It's, it's people that I'm cool with that fuck with people that I don't fuck with. As long as you ain't mentioning my name or talking bad about me, I don't care. Like, shit, you fuck with them and fuck with me. Just okay. don't have me in the mix of that shit. Like, at the end of the day, once I figure out that, like, you want some weird shit and you don't, you know, then it's like, I don't fuck with you then. Yeah. You know? I, I wish more people was like that because it really don't be that deep. Like, it's, it's never that it deep. It don't because business. Like, it do be business. Like, even like, I uh, work for the female and like, I ain't know, like, she had, like, kind of like issues with my best friend. But mm -hmm. like, um, it was like some little small shit, but I ain't know. And then shit, I worked with her, and then we just kept it cordial from now. Like shit, it, it just it, it's really just not a big deal. Like, yeah, you know, but that's we worth it. Yeah, like I don't, I don't <laughs> get it, but but whatever. Um, so you were recently seen with us with Chicago rapper CCBKE. Yeah. So what's our relationship like? Do y'all have any work coming out? Like, what's up? Um, no, nah, we ain't got no work. I mean, we done talked about it before, but no, nah, like, she just slid to the video shoot on some cool shit, you know, like, we was just in there, like, vibing and kicking and shit. But no, nah, we ain't really got nothing coming up, though, for real, you know, might have to align that, because she raw yeah. as hell, too. I was about to so, say, I yeah. definitely see y'all hopping on something. Yeah, she other. raw. I fuck with her. Yeah. Like, she cool as hell, too. And she, she, like, she said, like, she be on the same type of time, and I be yeah, on, like, yeah. on, not on that weird shit, like, she don't, f she paving her own lane, and I fuck with that, because it's like, everybody else trying to ride everybody else's way, and I don't, you know, I don't really fuck with that shit, because it's like, what y'all gonna piggyback off the next motherfucker, like, shit, start your own shit, you know? So that's why I fuck with her. She cool as hell. Yeah. Could you ever see yourself doing that? Like, uh, dang, what did Rio and Mike do? It was like Dumb and Dumber. Like, they both got on the tape and they was just rushing back and forth. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I said I wanted to do some shit like that, but I just ain't felt the right person that I want to go back and forth on some shit with. Because it, it got to be raw as hell. You going back and forth, you got to. Shit, I come with some shit. You got to come back with some shit. Then I got to come back with some shit. Like, it got to be raw as hell. Like, yeah, no, I'm manifesting that. CCBK. <laughs> And Lil Jada, okay, on the collab team. Yeah, yeah. It's on. Um, no, I feel like y'all would be raw together, like, because I love her music, and I love that music, too. I'm, I'm not going to hug you, so. Okay, and look, wait till that new shit drop. My shit just keep getting better. Yeah, what you got on the way? Like, you got any tapes? Uh, I got a, a couple more singles coming, because pretty much we just trying to put all uh, my music out there so when yeah. people come follow back up they'll be like damn I wish she got already like mm -hmm. I already got my shit spending on WGCI oh, that's all fair. that like they spend my shit every Sunday on the daily yeah. like people always sending me that shit mm -hmm. I got either out Lil Juicy Paper Route Better I'm Better um I got a little pop song it's called My Frenchie mm -hmm. that's out then I got uh crazy insane coming it's like a pain song that's coming out i think that's the next single i'm dropping it come with a video too and for me it's a love song like so you know i'm just trying to like give them like at first i was coming with all that freaky shit yeah, yeah. i came yeah. with that money motivational shit now i'm coming with a little bit of pain love but i got so many like i got so much shit like the shit is like crazy so it's like it kind of be hard to like like, all right, what's next? Like, shit. So, I'll be ready as soon as I record some shit. I'll be like, fuck it, I want to drop it today. <laughs> so, as an artist, do you feel like it's important to, like, find your lane? Or are you just going to keep... I feel like it's cool to drop, like, a tape that has all those different layers. Because, you know, your audience versatile, too. They probably yeah, just like say that so, Like, some people might not fuck with one of my sons. Then they'll fuck with the others. So, they'll be like... I fuck with this paper rock, but I don't really like that either. You know, like you, you know, they might fuck with some shit. Everybody got their own opinions, and that's cool. Like I, don't, I know it's gonna be some people that probably don't even fuck with my music, which is cool. I don't care. Like at the end of the day, it's gonna be people that do. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. So that's facts. But you recently also went to a movie premiere. Um, so how was that experience? Um, and what was it on? What was it like for? If you could speak on that, if you can't, that's cool. Um, it was cool. Like it was a lot of people to network and big people. Shout out Bodil, shout out my man Duo, mm -hmm. and shout out Breezy. You know Breezy Films. Like the the movie was good though. Like the movie was really good. Like y'all gotta go watch that. 
um, what is it, like father, like son, yep, yeah, it was real good, like, it was just a good vibe, like, you know, like, everybody was dressed up, mm -hmm. and, you know, a little fancy, oh, where did you find the movie at, like, what, uh, uh -huh. it's gonna be available on, like, uh, Tubi and Amazon, and, so. I don't, is it streaming now? No, it was just, that was just, oh, like, just the premiere, so, the world premiere, but it ain't, like, fully released yet, mm -hmm. All right, good. Now, that's what's up, though. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Hell yeah, my man is a movie star. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. Period. No, no, look. So, um, here at What's Your Perspective, I cover music, culture, entertainment, sports, and more. So, I'm going a, I'm to a basically give you like a, a WYPP. So, like, just like, what's your perspective on like culture, music, entertainment, and sports? But since you don't watch sports, I'm going to make it spicy instead. All right. So cool. um, I'm going to start with culture. So, of course, I have to ask, um, what do you think Chicago's most influential, influential piece of culture is? And what's your favorite thing about Chicago culture? Um, that was a long-ass question. I can repeat it. I can... <laughs> uh, yeah, repeat that. <laughs> All right. What do you think Chicago's most influential piece of culture is? True. That's that's damn one word. That's I feel, like, that's I feel like like that like pretty much like that's what a lot of people like know it from, especially like since like uh it's a lot it's a couple people that blew up, but it's like I feel like Chief Keep kind of like paved the way for like a lot of artists and shit. So I I'm gonna say drill for sure, but it's like still everybody could build their own lane, you know. Yeah, house music. Huh. Yeah, house music. Oh, house. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, house music. Yeah, yeah. That's that. Yeah. Juke music, too. A oh, little bit. Yeah. With the, but, like, a lot of people don't probably listen to juke music, like, in other cities. But that's real popular. Uh, juke music and house music and drill music. I said it, like, by probably the top three. But I like everything. <laughs> Shit. For sure. What's your favorite thing about Chicago culture? My favorite thing... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the yeah. food, yes, the food. Y'all feel like y'all got the best food? Hell yeah! Out of out of no we out of everybody. Okay, I'm stepping that. All right, what's your favorite Chicago restaurant? Uh, Caribbean Jerk. Uh, on the hundred and third, it's also in Country Club Hills too. Um, uh, Harold's. Of that 80, yeah, 80, not even like, that good. 87th is Sagamon. Don't do Jerk Villa like that. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't know, but yeah, you claim Harold's. Yeah, I'm not gonna they got, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hamada's. What else we got? We got that shit. Stop playing. Yeah, <laughs> well, moving on to music. Uh, which city has the best artists or music and why? You said, wait, what? Which city do you think has the best music or, like, music artists and why? Chicago. I'm going to say that because I feel like a lot of people from Chicago, they be underrated. But we got a lot of talented motherfuckers here. Like, I ain't even saying that because I'm just from here. I just be feeling like shit. People really just, be, they starting to, like, not catch on. But it's like, it's been a lot of talented people here, like, you know. So it's like I, I like people from hell there. You know, you got the people from Memphis. I fuck with their music too. Mm -hmm. And shit, like I just feel like everybody got their own sound. Like, I, I, you know, music is music. Yeah, no, so. that's that's true. So, all right, how about this? So, shout out your uh, top five underrated artists in Chicago or from like Memphis. Uh, I'm gonna give you a minute too, cause I know that shit. Yeah, under underground okay. scene biggest. Five. Uh, I'm gonna say. It's my nigga, my nigga G. Um, Jacquees, um, Mick, his name Micko. Uh, who else? Janelle Moore. Um, I mean, I guess CC. Cause I, I just say her even though like yeah cause she she grinded too so yeah I fuck with her too There's probably a couple other people I could have thought of but them them my top five right now. <laughs> alright bet alright bet that's tough that's tough so look 
Now we all know the entertainment industry like looks a little different from like our normal lives. So you have a man. Okay, you have a boyfriend. <laughs> so do you think it's hard to maintain a relationship while you're trying to grow your career, especially like in the entertainment like music industry? I feel like it depends on your partner. Mm. Like I'm not gonna say like yeah, cause I mean I don't been in relationships before this relationship too, and it, it just like it didn't align with what I had going on. And at the end of the day, a lot of people always act like I got friends that like act and stuff like that. She but like, I can't have no nigga cause this this and this. Like you gotta have somebody that supports you a hundred percent. Like at the end of the day, like me doing my music, that's important to me, and he know that's important to me. So at the end of the day, he support me. I'm gonna support him, like it just it got y'all gotta be on the same page because at the end of the day you get a nigga that be like, no, nah, you can't do this, you can't do be you like then it's like, alright, boy, bye, <laughs> like you gotta go, like you know, so I I feel like it just you can have a relationship, but a lot of people be like, no, nah, you can't, you just gotta find the right person that's for you, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day you can get a partner and it just it don't align, like that just ain't the person for you, like shit, if you can't do both, that. That dick gotta go. Fuck. Nah, so. Nah, that's tough. That's tough. That's a good perspective. I'm not gonna hold you. So, so look, this kind of, this on topic, but kind of like off topic a little bit. So, now on the back end of that, um, the reality TV show personality, Drea Mitchell, who's 39, just announced she's pregnant by 22 year old Jalen Green. How do you feel about, how do you feel about that? You think she was wrong for that? I mean, dude, grown. Shit, but at the end of the day, me personally, I ain't dating nobody that young. Like, my nigga older. So, at the end of the day, me personally, me being a female, but everybody got their own preference. Like, shit, I guess she like young niggas, but I don't think she wrote for this shit. At the end of the day, like, but I mean, like, kind of like her mindset is kind of just like, I don't know, like, the stuff I see from, like, the interviews she was saying, like, well, I ain't, like, family orientated, but you, like, this nigga 21, and it's like, I don't know, like, I don't know what's, like, her outgo shit but it's like shit i don't feel like she wrong but i'm like at the end of the day you know you, it's only so much you see off the internet so it's kind of like it'd be hard to really know but shit that's her perfect shit i don't know i'm cool 21 is that's a little yuck yeah. and i'm 27 so at the oh. end of the day like 21 no my sister 20 <laughs> like oh, yeah. no yeah uh -uh. that's crazy now she got other kids she do? Mm -hmm. I didn't she even know like, she had other kids. Yeah, she got like three, four other kids. Ooh, that's insane. It's wicked. I ain't got no kid. Okay. Yet. Cover so. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> so, so. I got stepkids and a guy with them, though. And a dog. Can't forget about my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you silly. So so look, instead of sports, um, it's gonna be a spi it's gonna be a spicy question. Oh my bad. So yeah, it's gonna be a spicy question. So you once said, "Can't fuck my nigga, I gotta fuck too." So do you believe? <laughs> do you believe in threesomes, and would you ever have one? Yeah, I believe in them, but everything got to like a line type shit, like you know. Yeah, I believe in that shit. Though. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie. I feel like because at the end of the day, like yeah. I kind of think like it just like add like a little bit of spice, like it, you know, like a little fun. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, uh, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, me personally, I feel like if I'm gonna have a threesome, like I can't. That can't be my nigga. Like that can't be my nigga because, bro. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel you on that. Like. Because I don't know how I feel yeah. <laughs> about that. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm too territorial. And I, I feel like we search, like, in my head, I got it mapped out. Like, certain shit you can't do, y'all can't fuck. You can say, you can say, <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, you can, you can give him neck, but you can't have sex with my, that's my man. That's my man. You just, you an accessory. Okay? I'm you, you, you're a sex toy. That's it. You, you hear but me personally, I ain't gonna lie, like, now, like, the type of man set I'm in now, I just feel like sex ain't really, like, a big thing. Like, niggas, it's like, it's, like, it's sex. Like, they really don't get no fuck. If a nigga really love you, sex don't really matter. But, bitch, you ain't gonna cheat on me because I'll cut your ass. <laughs> fuck. It'll get like that. But, 
as long I feel like as long as you and your partner got like a good relationship, I feel like it's good. But like if you don't trust that nigga, don't do my person with that nigga. If you don't trust his ass. And I ain't playing. Cause his ass gonna go back behind your back and fuck that bitch kid. <laughs> No, for real. See, that's no, what I'm for talking real. about. Like, bro, that'll make that'll piece me up too. Cause no way. <laughs> and you know what? A really, really see, I be overthinking. So some shit that really made me mad is all right. We we'll have a threesome. Cause I, I got bad luck. I uh-huh. really got bad luck. Bad luck with certain <laughs> shit. I feel like I'm gonna have a threesome. And then if I do let him like have sex with the girl and not just that, we both gonna get pregnant at the same time. Then he gonna have to raise both. <laughs> Hell no, that shit did. <laughs> I might have to push that bitch down the stairs. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody gotta die. Okay. <laughs> you got that baby bitch pregnant. The bitch Look. gotta die. Hug the baby in him. <laughs> everybody gotta go. No, for real. <laughs> nah, but we, I, I don't know. I feel like if I have a threesome like with my man, he definitely gotta use a condom on the other bitch. Like I don't you know. It might be a little. It, 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 it might be a little work. But if you really want it, then baby, you gotta put in that work. Yeah. Shit. Cause I know. Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, What's his name? He dark skin. Yeah, he dark skin. What's his name? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. But he was saying he had brought hey, up buddy. something like yeah him. He was saying like. He didn't want to have threesomes. He's like, I'm not doing that. Like, it's too much extra work. I'm not putting on no condom, taking a condom off. And, like, he was basically yeah. saying that shit, but it's like, shit, I, you ain't fucking me and her, bro. Like, shit, I okay. know that's too much shit going on. I don't know what that bitch really be doing. <laughs> Bitches be lying. So, shit. Saying. Gotta see that. Paperwork. <laughs> exactly. well, what are you saying? Paperwork party. <laughs> exactly. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Let me see that paperwork, shorty. Okay. I'm on that. See, I'm, I'm too territorial, like, I damn near look. We taking our clothes off. I damn near pop that nigga in the back of his head. Wait, I, how old are you? I'm 21. Oh yeah, you young. So yeah, at that age, I was yeah. I used to be doing some crazy shit then. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I don't retire though. That's a little bit. Mm, it, okay, you feel like crazy got a limit then? Hell yeah, I feel like some people is mentally ill. <laughs> <laughs> shit, if you ask me, cause the summer shit just don't be worth it. Like you gonna you gonna just throw your whole life away for this nigga? Like, like what? Like crashing out, killing a bitch, and I mean I might just talk a little crazy, but I ain't killing nobody over no nigga. Mm-hmm. I mean, what well, I got my own nigga. I ain't saying it like that, but I'm like I ain't gonna lie, I'm not killing nobody. That's me throwing my whole life away. Like yeah. I got stuff that's worth living for. Like. I just feel like that it be like mental illness, and some people just be triggering motherfuckers to do some crazy shit. Oh, that's fake. That's fake. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> say that's mental illness, dog. <laughs> For real, people need to start taking care of themselves. Mental health is important. Like right. that shit is for real. Like. Right. Cause I know, like, like I have my moments where I just my man be all over the place, but I don't never be thinking of crazy shit. But it's like still like. If you don't take care of yourself and your mental health, then your your ass be ready to crash out over anything. And it's like that shit is important. Like that's shit, you gotta know what you, what you you gotta have a purpose. I, that's why I can't be around people that be ready to crash out, don't have no purpose. Because at the end of the day, it's like shit. If you don't get no fuck about your life, you don't give a fuck about man. And that's a problem. Like hell no, nah, bitch. I care about. I got shit to live for. I want kids. I want to be married. I'm. All type of shit, like, I got bigger picture, like, I ain't done no little small shit, like, hell no, I got shit to live for, I'm cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah no, I commend that, that that's a, that's a, that's real though, that's a, for real, cause that, you know, in the, in the music, everybody wanna be on their little thought shit, I don't know, I don't know. No. Yeah, yeah. So would you ever put some shit in the song that you don't mean? Like if you like killing a bitch like a bar, a bar about that. Like my nigga cheating on me, um, woo, like. Um, nah. See, see you. you uh, live what you rap. I, I respect I, that. Yeah, I, I'll probably say I'll beat a bitch ass because I would, but I ain't killing no bitch. But hell yeah, over man's yeah, bitch. It's, it's up. It's stuck. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna get like that. Yeah. But I, like, I don't really like the only thing like I probably say is like in my music. Like if it's like you know like bigger. Like if I'll be like I. Right, a Birkin bag or something like that. I'm manifesting it. I'm not capping, but it's like, yeah, I'm manifesting everything else, though. Like, if it's like 
price some expensive top of the line shit. Of course, I'm going to sauce that bitch up. But at the end of the day, like, I don't cap in my reps. Like, everything I say, like, that's really me. Like, uh, I want everything to be as legit as possible. That's why when they be saying, like, people going to be on that industry fake shit. Nah, I want to be me. I don't want to be doing all that extra shit. Like, if I can't be me, I don't even want to do it. Like, for real. Because it's like, what? I'm not going to act like somebody I'm not. I can't. I don't even know how to. <laughs> nah, I commend that. I commend that for sure. Shit. It's not a lot of people that's built like that. People are really embarrassed to be themselves. Like, shit. Nah, hard. me. I don't get no fuck. Because everybody love me. Like, I be myself. <laughs> like, for real. Like, yeah. And people be, like, even when, like, my friends will do shit. And it, I don't be the... They be like, dang, I wish you was here. Like, it don't feel the same. Because... I'm gonna get that energy. Like I'm not, like it don't be no fake shit. Everything with me gonna be genuine. Because if I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. Like it's just it's simple, it's period. But it's like everybody be wanna be fake and wanna that's why people be getting back though. They don't be having no friends and friends be fake and all this shit. You get beat up because your friend does set you up. Y'all fucking with too many bitches. I don't fuck with too many bitches because bitches be weird. No, that's shit. Right. That's fake. It's just, uh, uh I'm cool. Yeah, no, that's fake though. But, but look, so those were all of the questions I have today. Do you have, um, do you want to let the people know where they can find you at? Any songs that you drop anything to look out for? Yep, y'all know it's Big Jeff, not the low one. And y'all can go follow me on Instagram at L U L J A I D A underscore Lil and y'all can go stream all my new singles on Apple Music, Spotify. You'll find everything there when you type my name in. If y'all really fuck with me, I need y'all to go to my website, lajettaworld.com. And yeah, I got some new shit coming for y'all, but y'all gotta tap in though. Period. And go on YouTube if you wanna see our face, okay? Exactly. behind the music. Period. Okay. <laughs> so thank you so much for popping out. Um, well, actually, thank you so much for coming back to your city. You know, fucking with me, showing love for this interview. I really do appreciate you. And it's up there. It's up there. It's cool as fuck. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, thank y'all for tapping in with me and little Jada. And I just want to know. And I appreciate you for having me. Oh, no. No problem. No problem. You, you a dope ass person. <laughs> I fucking do interview. Who's vibing? Exactly. Yeah. Y'all love y'all energy, too. Thank you. So, thank y'all for tapping in. And I just have one question. What's your perspective? <laughs> Period. What is your perspective? <laughs> hey, you gotta, you gotta start giving more of your interviewees more of that KB lemonade. Gonna open them right on up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, hey, actually sponsor me. I <laughs> every video would be right in the corner. Exactly. Hey, hey, you hear this? Hey, yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, I ain't gonna let this shit. He is kicking my ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had to slow down. I watched it. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs>